So I have to start this video with a confession. Um, I apologize also for it taking so long to post this reveal video of our kitchen and our living room remodel. The reason for that is where the confession comes in. I was under the um, misconception that you guys just wanted to see a beautifully done uh, remodel video kind of like we did in the bathroom where everything was in place everything was perfect there was nothing um, that was you know junking up the space nothing of our real life it was all just staged and um, <laughs> I came to the realization that it's never gonna be perfect. It's going to be far from it. We live here. Um, part of the whole big scheme of the remodel has been the Lord uh, asking us to open up our home. So we have been. Several times a week we invite people in. We have three kids. We run a farm. We run a small business. We homeschool. There's just no room to have a perfectly um, placed, staged house anymore. And it's okay. I'm finally coming to grips with this. Um, I have not freaked out. When people come over to eat with us, I have not freaked out about the condition of the house at all. Um, and so why would I with y'all? Um, so thank you for being patient with me. I hope you enjoy seeing our real life. I did wipe the counters down, that kind of thing. But, you know, there's crumbs. There's crumbs in the cracks of our new table. There are uh, stains on our new countertops. There are school books on the floor. My shipping station is in our living room for our business, for our t-shirts and um there's fingerprints on our windows and i know you guys can relate to this so this is not going to be hgtv this is going to be real life and i hope you love it this is our kitchen so this whole space right here that you see in front of you used to be a wall right here there was a little space right here for a door I mean for a um, opening like I'm like a walkthrough but um, we took the wall out if you saw that video you know what a task that was <laughs> um, and literally opened up our home we knew that we were being called to open up our home to more people and literally we opened up our home also so it wasn't so crowded and so um, dark so um, our friend Cheryl built us this beautiful island and uh, the base of it and it's got it's got shelves I've put some pots and uh, all of the cookbooks that we have right here on this side um, and Adam and my father-in-law built the top and this is actually made out of old um really old flooring and i think it's just gorgeous and it's super super heavy <laughs> um we have a butcher block piece that we took as an from an extra piece of countertop and this is what i used to cut things on um, our cabinets if you saw our cabinet drama we had some drama with our cabinets for sure with the color of the cabinets but i am so pleased with how it turned out um this is called blustery sky by sherwin williams and i'll also link all of the products that we use in the description as well so if you'll look down at that you can see all of the details for everything that we bought and used um we got our little coffee station over here. Like I said, eggs. <laughs> got more eggs. Got eggs, eggs, eggs. Y'all let me know if you need some eggs. We can hook you up. 
I've bought these cute little um, mismatched knobs from uh, Amazon and they're all different and I think they're really cute. And I got these handles from Home Depot, I believe. Our tile came from Home Depot and it is beautiful. I love how it turned out. It's this chicken wire tile um, from Home Depot and I'll link that also down below. But I just love it. I was debating on whether I was gonna put it at the top or not also or if we were just going to paint up there like it was but we decided to go up all the way and i love how that turned out it just kind of pulls it all together and you know our egg sitting on the counter <laughs> and everything just kind of works so um our farmhouse sink we also did a video and my sink is full right now. We are having fun and inviting people over and we just can't keep, catch up with the dishes, so it's okay. But our farmhouse sink, I did a video on the non-negotiable farmhouse sink. This is the one piece I knew before we started remodeling our house that I wanted in the house and I absolutely love it. So that is our farmhouse sink and it holds lots and lots of dishes. So I'm not gonna show you the, the nastiness, but it does. Um, my stepmother made this cute curtain for me to go under, under the kitchen sink because we had to cut a, um, we had to cut the cabinet out and the doors would no longer fit down there that were there. So we put a nice curtain there. Um, I decided to do open cabinets and I like it. Um, I thought, hey, it would keep me accountable for keeping the cabinets clean. And for the most part it does, but you know what? We live here and so this is real life and um, we use these things that are up in the cabinet. So it's not like it's gonna be perfectly staged. I did have this beautiful pottery that we got when we got married um, that I was going to scatter about in here, but I have not gotten around to doing that yet. Oh, let me show you the light this light <laughs> i looked everywhere y'all probably saw that video as well um i'll pop that up here if you didn't see that where i was looking everywhere at antique stores for a a light an old rustic bucket light that i could put in in the kitchen over the island and um you know what i did not find the perfect light and I got home pretty discouraged and Adam says, you just want a bucket, right? And I was like, yeah. He said, you want it like old looking? I was like, yeah. He said, oh, I know where one of those uh, is, is in the woods. I'll go make you a light. And he did. So it turned out perfect. This is like actually the thing I wanted. This is what I wanted it to look like. Um, we got our chairs from Ikea and these are the most comfortable chairs. I love sitting here probably more than anywhere else in the house. Our kitchen table Adam made and I love it also. It's not as big as we intended to start with for it to be but um, it's fine. We, um, we have enough room for everybody and um, we didn't want to get too long because the door was in the way. I mean, it would be in the way of the door opening, so that's why um, we made it a little shorter, but we still can fit lots and lots of people around this table. Adam made our bench as well. That. And our chairs come from Ikea, these end chairs. And I really like those too. They're very comfy. They're already all stained up because, you know, three kids, but there they are. Um, my friend Meredith had a brilliant idea for us to put a window seat or like a bench all the way the length of this room and um, I love how that turned out we've actually got storage in here so we put um, like mason jars and things in here that we need to pull out from time to time to put stuff in I got all uh, my stepmother and Sydney made the cushions for our bench and those turned out really good also and then we've got um, all of these nice pillows to make this window bench so comfy. We got all those from um, Ikea. Uh, let's see. 
My friend, Megan Henson, and her husband made this beautiful menu, metal menu sign, and I love that. Um, I love being able to see what we're going to be eating every day. It helps me to plan out things, and I think it's just so cute in here. Um, we got this plate thing from Hobby Lobby, and um, I've had these a long time. This was actually from a relative, um, and I love that. It's like an old Amish um, poem. And then I got this from an antique store. Uh, I got also the scale, the old scale from an antique store. And my friend Hadley painted this for me. Our lights came from Lowe's. Our mason jar light. Our countertops came from Floor and Decor. And we got the cherry countertops and left them the natural color. We did not stain them. All we did was condition them. And it made them this, they were really light to start with and it made them this beautiful um, red brown. So it, it actually really worked well with our existing wood work around the house to trim and um, so our paint colors, we used uh, Valspar Notre Dame in here for the walls. Our floor came from Floor and Decor. This is a tile floor and I'll link that in the description as well, but it's beautiful. I love how it turned out. If you are new to us, please hit the subscribe button and uh, the tap the little bell so that you can get notifications whenever we've posted a new video. Um, that just helps us uh, further our channel, further our reach, and um, it really just gives us a boost of confidence to know that we're on the right track, we're doing good quality work, and that you appreciate it and you want to watch more of it. So thank you for being here and we'll see you next time.